do, man. It's your boy Keep It, man. Promotion, man. You're not rocking with my boy Benny Gold, man. Go to interviews up next. Let's get it. God, God love with you. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Benny Go. I got Keefe Man Promotions in the building. Uh, put out your social medias for me real quick. Hey, follow that boy at Keefe Man Promotion. Everything Keefe Man Promotion. Instagram, Facebook, Keefe, Keefe Man Promotion. Man. You know what it is. Y'all follow me, man. All right. Uh, first thing first, kind of let the people know which, what exactly it is you do in your own words. Man, I turn the city up. Like what I do, I host, promote. Venues, venues, whatever you need, man. We try to give you that, that look, that feel, you know, to try to let people know what you got going on. But we do it from a hip hop standpoint to make our generation, our people accustomed to it. It's okay. Come shop with us or whatever. Mm -hmm. What's some uh, what's some things you got upcoming that uh, you know you ready to promote right now? I got that boy Money Man, Money Man show will be here on December 29th, man. Hey, Freelance Jackson, you already doing it up, man. KLB Wednesday and Thursday. Freelance on the weekend, concerts, whatever, we, we there. Okay, kind of talk to me, man, like, uh, kind of almost how you got started. Man, it was a blessing for real. Mm -hmm. I was working at McDonald's, and I was just promoting, posting stuff on my social media page. And, like, he was the piece of my home, Battlefield Beach, and he kind of came to McDonald's, came to the light, and he was telling me I was good. Real street guy, real excited. He was the piece of soul. We just ended up just doing a party together because we had the same birthday. I was working at McDonald's, Tom Boulevard, never forget. And we did a party, man. It was crazy. It was, shout out to Northside Leaf for Houston by Riff and letting us do that. It, it, it was insanely crazy. And then everybody started saying, you know, when you do a party, people are going to pull up. And we using it to promote people because they, they start paying attention to my platform. Okay, okay. Kind of, uh, what, what is it about you, like Keith your man, that that makes you, that you think makes people gravitate towards you and what you do? Um, I don't know, I think just, just telling them how it is, you know, not, not being who I'm not. Uh, a lot of people, they, they afraid to let the world know where they really come from, how they really do, which, you know, they got some money to do. We, we all been there, you know what I'm saying? So I think that just telling people exactly how things go and being un honest to you, and loyalty is it plays a big role in anything you got going on. So I think that's what we try to do. We make a mistake, we try to fix it. You know, whatever. If we're not doing what we're supposed to do, we we'll gotta figure out ways to make it right. Let people know that they're not the only one that make mistakes. Perfect out of it, so you know we're good. So I think that's what makes people understand that everybody is the same in certain senses, but. Like we make the same mistakes, so we just try to keep everything covered steady with everybody we deal with. Okay. So how, how have you been able to, you know, have a reach broader than just, you know, Jackson? Like you've done stuff, you know, with Indianapolis and uh, Florida too as well, right? right? Yeah, so yeah. like how, how, how have you uh, been able to reach out to them parts of the world? I think social media, social media is like, People my age and my time, I'm a little older than most, but I'm not. I'm still young, so you know, we got a long way to go in business because it ain't no limit, you know, to business. But I think that just being, uh, just trying to stay relevant, you know, mm -hmm. social media. That's a, that's a good platform to get other people outside of Jackson to network with you. So I think that you know, just being being accessible to be able to go follow somebody from out of town, and then you actually interact with them like they with you. You know what I'm saying? That, this thing, you know, cause social media is go to the DM. Me and you made like the same way. One on one relationships in the DM. So and I think that makes people feel comfortable that they give you a chance to want to work with you because then they see your pictures, they follow you, see what you're doing. You know, they makes them want to come just, you know, just hang around. So that, that's what we do. We try to stay in tech with people outside our, you know, our, our original market. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I know she had said, you know, um, you're not, you're not. <laughs> Too young, but you're not too old. Right. To me, you know, I kind of had this own joke myself. You're <laughs> over 25, you're old. You know, yeah, I, like, yeah, I yeah. call you an old nigga. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, just yeah. me, though. You know, it's all, uh, you know, good uh, fun, though. But being, you know, you know, not young, but old, kind of talk about some of the things you've experienced in life that's led you to be who you are today. Yeah. The blessing thing is that with the culture and the generation, and let me, let me tap on the other joke. When you turn 25, because I'm over 25, by the way, 
when you turn 25, you really go like, <laughs> start saying like, okay, I get it, I get it. Like, uh-huh. we not old because you're not, you, you feel like in your mind you haven't competed anything. Well, a lot of people mess up with that is that they think it, there ain't no age limit on nothing. Like, that's a fact. Shout out to everybody that's just getting started, you know, so I mean, as long as you start though, before you die, I think, you, you know, it's not an excuse for us not to do anything while we're young, but you just never know when God gonna um, touch you and say, get your, get your brain together to what you want to do and start following your dreams and your goals. You know? Right. My life is about purpose right now. So all the experiences I went through, it really set me up to be able to help other people. Like, I didn't see it then, but as you get older, you're going to see that your experiences is always going to make them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to take losing or doing something out of control, out of sync, and learn from it in the future, man. Like, if I'm mentoring somebody like you, um, or somebody mentoring me, what we do is we use our experience to try to help them understand like why you should or should do something that's gonna potentially can make you a million dollars. I mean, you never know. So I think that's that's what my experience is. Uh, if you want me to share some of those, that's, that's cool too. So it's all good. It's, that's, that's the main objective of that. I would just want you to share like you know um, one two from like you know some major moments, some some parts where keep you man for like okay this is this is a turning point. And it could be, you know, uh, right when you um, got into the promotion side and then, like, where you are today. Uh, like, man, it's humble and where I come from, man, every time, like, it does, it's been, it's just the same feeling from the start to now. That's how I know, like, I appreciate everything coming from, like, literally nothing and starting something from then. I think that, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the way that people approach you from not knowing you. You know, want to take pictures, it's, it's, it's a feeling that, and you're not even a celebrity, like you're going through this. They may be doing that and trying to get your life to be a pay. So I think <laughs> that's what separates the people that's, that doesn't appreciate it to be able to be like, appreciate it. Like, you know, uh, I proposed to my wife and actually got married at a, a show I promoted, Florida, you know, all you got to do is say, yeah, they had a good record. Shout out to Jermaine Dupree too for backing up. We really, that, that was amazing. You know, 4,000 people, I got the mic, I proposed, everybody clapping, that's one. Like, I never forget that. My wife used to got a video on Facebook, it's, it's amazing. And I just, just to be able to do that in front of those people and then the celebrities back of you, not even knowing you. Um, another one was with Money Man. Like, he, you know, for him to call us one week, and he was doing a show in New Orleans to come down. Now he's doing a show close up this week to come down. You know, his brother texted my phone and said they want to hang out with us. It was kind of like, yeah, it's, it's real because he now he's feeling comfortable with somebody that you know this is celebrity you it's going to be in front of your city you know? you involved in a, in a lot of different things uh let's talk about the music side first like what all do you have your hands on right now when it comes to uh, the music side of things on the music side um man freelance jackson uh manager kind of control the shows and uh, staff and stuff over there that's a blessing I think uh, Turn Up Tees, he finna be home. PMC, finally, we working. Shout out to Ron Turn Up Tees. Mm-hmm. King Zeke, we dropped the dime joint, went crazy. Yes, sir. Still going crazy right now. Shout out to King Zeke, my little nigga. Um, this little nigga just texting me too right now. Mm-hmm. The relationships with the artists, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's amazing. You see them casting boy Drake, like Murder Man. I mean, we can go out there. All, everybody that's popping, we, we we actually just we we do it for the city, you know. But we really try to like we doing it to try to get them to that next level, you know. what I'm saying that's what that's what the purpose is. Somebody going from the city telling you, I feel it, and that's what we are doing. Like competition in 50 states, and then now they they signing people in Canada, Drake and uh you know overseas. Like so, you are going against the world, the globe. So what? Them to be able to get that look and that feel and they go. Shout out to Ray Shrummer too, man. See people like that. Yeah. Doing songs with future. I mean, I think that's what it, that's what it's all about, man. That's mm-hmm. what it's all about. Oh, let's let's talk about your mixtape. The mixtape you got coming up. Salute the city dropping, man. Everybody waiting on it, man. I'm on some DJ drama, DJ bigger ranking, DJ Cat is sad, but it's it's amazing, bigger ranking. We 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 linked up and he teaching me a lot, man. Shout out to him, cause a lot of people know him. He's the first DJ to actually get a hosting songs played on the radio. It's crazy. So it's kind of like he, the line wide open. I got the feel, I got the look, I got everything with it. Um, mm-hmm. 
so he's tell me. I'm just listening to him because I'm learning every day. But you know, we we just gonna we just gonna link up and we gonna introduce Jack Time with all the hottest artists that I feel and the hottest tracks from the producers to everything. Shouting out businesses is bigger than a mistake. Showing love, shout to Benny Gold, shout got his name on there. Like we saying names, like we letting people know what we do. Venues, KOD, shout to Dirty Hearts. Like we got so much that people need to see. We got clothing designers here that need to be like at McRae's and stuff like that. Like we shout to American Slang got it on right now. Mm -hmm. Whole fit, whole That's suit scene. Um, before we get into more of the businesses, I do want to talk about a part that you just said when right. it come to you say you still learning too. Um, <clears throat> Every day. When when do you feel, do you feel like it'll ever be a point where Keith Man is no longer learning, but he's continuing to teach, or have you ever really thought about anything like that? Man, I think that uh, the part the, the part of the situation where nobody never learns anything. The part of the situation where you stop, where you feel like you learn everything, like you you already lost, man. Michael Jordan just he learning how to read and be his shoes that he sold already, and people are paying crazy dollars for him. So man. You can't never know enough. Like honestly, I'm a I'm a learn new things until I die. Like you know the old folks used to say. I know our parents, our grandparents. Hey, uh, you learn something new every day. Yeah, it's just so true. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I think that you know you. It's no limit to anything in life, man. No limit at all. Like if you think you're rich enough, I salute you for that. Cause right. somebody always want to be better. So you know, it's it's I'm young. Old to some, young to some. Nobody, nobody give us clarification on nothing. You know your situation. For example, I'm gonna use you, Benny Go. You, you kind of you coming into the thing right. It's humble. You doing a good interview. That's good. So that's one platform that we got needs to be seen. So, but you still listen. So that's what it's all about. Learning, learning, learning. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the last thing I just want to talk about uh, from the business side aspect. Uh, like I said, we already touched on the music. Like, what's next for, for Keith Man to be doing, um, not just music-wise? Like, what's some other businesses you plan to get involved with or you already involved with? We, we, we're getting a, the office platform. We're going to turn it into a situation to where you can we can pull up and purchase uh, you know, purchase our VIP pass for the shows we do. Um, we decided to turn uh, Benny Gold's platform or uh, Cameraman 3D's platform into DVDs. We can do actually do the... The producing here, the editing here, we're gonna have a room like it's one spot. So, we wanna be a one stop shop for anything dealing with entertainment to where you can buy concert tickets, CDs, the shirts done for the artists that has brands, business brands. Like, we just wanna let people know anything to get connected to the, to the, what's hot, we got you. So, yeah. Okay, that's dope, that's dope. Man, to wrap up, any final words you got for the people? Man, not really, just same thing, stay, just grind. Grind. Everybody know the situation. Everybody understand their purpose in life. I mean, if you don't understand it, figure it out because you can actually help you help a lot of people in the world. Um, I think just just don't stop, man. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. We we came a long way. We got a long way to go. That's everybody. Measure yourself, man. Measure yourself, man. See where you at. See what how far you got to go. Cause progression really gone. Progression is really important. What you trying to do? Anybody that's just, just get the mixtape, we're gonna preach it out. Like, how we doing is, we gotta be a, a starting point somewhere to where you wanna go. And whether we get rich or not get rich, we're gonna be happy regardless, because it's been a hell of a ride, bro. Yes, sir. Like, seriously, so far, I mean, a lot of artists, you know, watching people like you grow. Um, shout out to all the artists, my boy Polo, baby, watch that boy too. Like, he, prime example, somebody that didn't stop, that really just introduced his music to everybody. So, things like that, man. This, and all that falls on the same category where he asking me, like, don't stop, grind, grind. There ain't no rule book to nothing. Create your own, be the rule book, you know, so. This, but I also do it within the presence and confinement of the Lord because if you don't not have faith, I'm telling you, and you think you're doing it on your own, you're not. Like, pray to God, thank God, because could, your situation could be, you could be homeless. I mean, it's a lot of things that you gotta be thankful for, so. That's what we about, man, just let people understand. Wherever you come from, you can still be, you know, don't justify man by don't justify man by trying to outdo him or hurt him. Mm -hmm. Or don't judge people about if they reach or they poor, they came up with nothing. So all of it falls under the category, man. Just stay down and you know, everybody know what we gotta do, man. That's dope, that's dope. 
He said he didn't have any final words, but he just gave us <laughs> some good final words, man. You asked me about it. Yeah, man. I know. So one one last time, that, man. Uh, that. Put out your social medias, let the people know that can follow you with the big spec. Yeah, I know what it is. That keep a man promotion, man. Salute to the real. That keep a man promotion. Everything, man. Guys playing hashtag. Y'all, y'all remember that everything a plan, man. That keep a man promotion. Everything. Let's get it. All right. Uh, it's been your boy Benny Gold. Shout out to Ink Room and Jackson for letting us use the spot. Shout out to the Vine Coach Clothes and the sponsor. It's been your boy in the mouth. Guy, 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 gu